Hey everyone. So my last video was centered around the theme of recycling, reusing resources and things of that nature. And today I'm going to show an instance of that. This might be of use to you if you're into uh, like makery stuff, if you do a bit of hobbyist electronics, or even if you do a little bit of electronics professionally. Here I have a piece of old solder which I have accumulated over time. And today I wanted to kind of experiment and see how well this could be reused. Now if I recall correctly, this is mostly 6040 solder, but I have no doubt that there are some minor impurities in here, which could affect my results. This is my flux. If you're going to be reusing solder, flux is a must. Usually when you buy new solder and it comes in a reel, there's usually a flux core inside the actual wire, Whereas today we're going to be reusing solder, so obviously there's no flux in there. So we're going to need to use our own. Now I bought this flux, but if you want to go for a more homebrew solution, you can buy a bar of rosin and dissolve it in some isopropyl alcohol, and that will give you a pretty decent flux. So here I have this green LED, and I'm going to be soldering it onto this piece of proto board here. Now, for one of the pins, I'm going to be using just virgin solder. On the other pin, I'm going to be reusing some of my old solder. Now I'm going to be using the same settings for both pins, which you should see now on your screen. Anyway, let's get into it. And here are the results. As you can see, the one on the left is a lot shinier than the one on the right. The one on the left is the virgin solder, and the one on the right is the solder that I reused. I think the reason why the join with the reused solder isn't as shiny is because the solder I reused was a mix of two different brands. I think if you're going to reuse solder, you should seriously consider isolating different brands and types of solder before you go ahead with this. Nevertheless, even though joints from reused solder don't look nearly as good as joints with new solder, they're still mostly electrically sound, and so it's really worth considering reusing solder for things like hobbyist applications. In this video, I used leaded solder. The world has largely transitioned into using lead-free, however leaded still has its benefits, namely superior joint quality and with superior joint quality comes longer lasting electronics. Assuming you don't mix different types of leaded solder, reusing it means you can enjoy the benefits of better joint quality and longer lasting devices, while also keeping lead out of the environment. In a circular economy where most resources are recovered and reused, it may actually be beneficial to once again use leaded solder industrially. This is because in a circular economy, most of, if not all, solder from discarded electronics would be recycled to be used again in new devices. This means that the benefit of using leaded solder to increase the longevity of devices would outweigh the environmental impact of using lead. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative, helpful, or at least somewhat interesting. I will be doing more videos on electronics in the future, because I think it's fun, and it's also a really good skill to get into if you want to get more into self-sufficiency and making your own stuff, and that type of thing. Anyway, that's all from me for today. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe, and to help my channel out, make sure to share videos like these on social media and other platforms. Thank you very much for watching, bye for now.